Hey, it's Brant from TradeGuild.net. It is Friday, August 20th, 2010. And I wanted to just address the change in character that we've seen in the market recently. I'm going to show you what normal accumulation distribution on my 3C indicator typically looks like. So we're going to just go ahead and jump to 3C. And we're going to back out a little bit. And basically this is the uh, July rally. And what you'll see is accumulation takes place over a period of time. This is the accumulation here. So it takes place over a period of days, weeks, uh, sometimes even months. Uh, and distribution over here, again, the same thing. We can see that take place over days, uh, weeks, and sometimes even months. What we had been seeing though recently was a day-to-day -day pattern of accumulation and distribution. Uh, if I could back up the one minute charts far enough, I can only go back about two days, I would show you. But basically what was happening was they were uh, buying on the uh, cheap, on gaps down, and then they'd raise the price into the afternoon sell, get rid of the inventory, and then they'd do it all over again the next morning. Well, today we saw a change in character, and I'm going to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. So here is today. We see we got that gap down yesterday because we saw accumulation over here. I figured yesterday that we would see a move up based on the pattern that we have been seeing in the past. Uh, we didn't. We saw a gap down. But into that gap down, as you can see, we hit our lowest lows down here. Uh, 3C was quite a bit higher. And then we actually went into a leading divergence up here where uh, 3C is higher then price was way back here even though price is much lower so this is showing us a lot of accumulation into what looks like a rounding bottom and I'm going to go ahead and show you that rounding bottom real quick and what you see is not only the shape of a rounding bottom but you also see uh, that in volume which is something you want to look for not only did it look like a rounding bottom it also looked like an inverse head and shoulders bottom I'll show you what I mean shoulder head in here another shoulder and then about the 10750 area is where uh, the neckline was and we confirmed that because we saw a breakout and the volume at 10750 picked up right in this area now even if we look at a 10 minute 3c chart for today we see again the same accumulation I was talking about last night which led me to to believe that we were going to see a gap up and again this is based on the behavior that we had been seeing that behavior has changed now you can see where 3c is over here uh, prices are clearly lower and 3c is clearly higher over here so this is a relative divergence and then when we get this move of 3c making new highs over here it becomes a leading divergence which is the most powerful form of accumulation and we can see that as well and BOP down here. That's Warden's indicator. So um, the character has changed. Today was options expiration. Um, apparently the heaviest volume or the heaviest open interest was at 110 and 112 on the SPY. They pinned uh, that below so those uh, options expired worthless. Now that leaves the door open to a rally. The reason I do believe that what we were seeing in the market um, that strange behavior of accumulation distribution all in one day rather than all at once like I showed you earlier is because of the reactor going online today was pretty much the final day that they could hit it without causing nuclear fallout and you have the Russians working in the area so I think because the market felt like we got through that we're seeing some more normal accumulation and I think it's going to lead to a bounce um, probably very early next week we've been looking for that bounce there's a couple of reasons why um, let's go back to a uh, just a regular daily chart here now in an ascending wedge like we have here one of the typical things that we saw like in 2008 is a false breakout which would mean it would jump up here and then it would um, come back down and what that effectively does is traps longs up here and when they are at a loss, um, it kind of creates a snowball effect. We did not see that with this uh, ascending wedge. So I'm thinking that we're going to see a pretty decent bounce. It's going to create a short squeeze that's going to draw in longs and it's going to create the same effect as a false breakout. 
um, the market needs that to go ahead and create that snowball momentum down um, to new lows, which I think we're probably going to hit easily new lows, and I think eventually we're going to surpass those new lows. If we take a look at the market character, we got something that looks like a hammer, but I would classify this more as a as a doji. It doesn't quite have the body for a hammer, but a doji has basically the same um, meaning. It's a reversal candle. If we look at the last two that we saw, we saw one over here, and that reversed this downtrend to an uptrend over here, and then we saw one um, over here, which reversed a uptrend that we saw into a downtrend. Sorry about my markets lagging a little bit. We also had a closing today of the trend index at 1.77. Usually at 2, we almost always see a close up the next day. So it's a little bit shy of that, but it's pretty much close enough. If we take a quick look at oil, now this Iran-Israel situation, I'm not sure if it's over or not, but if we take a look at oil, we're just going to um, take a look at USO, and we're going to look at the hourly chart. And if we zoom in a little bit, we can see pretty clearly that there is again accumulation in USO. You can see it here. We not only have a relative divergence, but we have another one of those leading divergences up here. So why would USO uh, or oil be under accumulation? I don't know. We're not seeing it on the short-term charts yet. We're seeing it on the longer-term charts, which, me which means that it is probably going to be a longer-term position and a bigger move. This is the normal type of accumulation that I'm talking about, and it's just getting started. Uh, we did see USO break down today a little bit under some support, um, which is also a good thing because it tends to create a false breakdown. And if this is a false breakdown, we're going to see a nice move up in USO. Uh, the dollar did break down today a little bit, and actually the dollar was our first tell that the market uh, was going to see some accumulation. I just want to show you a few other charts here. This is a 15, or I'm sorry, a 10-minute chart. If we look at the 15-minute chart of USO, again, we see that accumulation. And on the 5-minute chart, now this may just be going with the market, but again, we see that accumulation here today in USO, even though it broke down. So this is one of the reasons I'm thinking maybe this is a false breakdown below support. It's going to draw in short sellers. It's going to trigger, of course, uh, any stops, which benefits the market makers and specialists. And it will create, as soon as prices move back up, that snowball effect to the upside. So we may be seeing accumulation based on that. We may see some weakness in the dollar. So let's take a look at the dollar. I'm going to use UUP as a proxy. And here's the dollar. And we're looking at 3C on a five-minute chart. So this is today. On Wolf on Wall Street, we got our first tell of what was going on in the market with this negative distribution that we saw into this gap up. So this was our first tell, and I put out a uh, update and a warning about the market. And then uh, not too much later, we saw that accumulation start to occur in the SPY. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here, if we're going to see a little bounce up in uh, oil early next week. I do believe we're going to see a bounce in the market now that the options expiration is over. And I think long term, something is going on with oil. So I'm not sure exactly what that is, if this has something to do with Israel and Iran. But something is going on in oil. It may have something to do with dollar policy. I don't know. But we're going to keep an eye on it. If you want to uh, know more about what's going on in the market, you want to get uh, some of the strategies, some of the picks, and our tactical movements, then uh, check out Wolf on Wall Street. You can go to tradeguild.net. At the top right, there's links for Wolf on Wall Street. Take a look at that. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. And I may do one more video if I find anything really interesting coming up. So check back at tradeguild.net this weekend. Thanks for listening. Take care.